Sixers fans, what is going on? Look, before I even jump into this video, I think you guys know what time it is. Look at that. That's a clean jersey. You know why? Because somebody returned him to Philadelphia. I appreciate you. Whoever returned him to Philly, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. The sign is off. The missing poster is gone. The milk cartons are away. We have found Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons turned in a phenomenal, phenomenal game against the Detroit Pistons. I think he had 21-7-7. and Playoff steals, blocks, plays hell of defense. Um, that didn't even make sense, but I'm not going to do another take and I'm leaving that one in. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. Um, ben Simmons seems to be back in his aggressive form of just yamming, of just creating awesome opportunities, awesome open shots for guys. He could have had 15 assists if uh, we made some buckets for him earlier on. But um, Ben Simmons seems to be back, dude. The first win without MB, that's huge. But that's not even what this video is about. That's not what this video is about is how you should like the video, and how you should subscribe to the channel. I'm almost at 400 subscribers. Help me get to 1,000, please. That being said, let me let me take a sip to the sponsor. One day I'm going to be sponsored by Rain. I drink too much of them not to be sponsored. Manifesting it. Manifesting that all 2021. All right, that being said, look, I want to talk about, uh, I kind of want to rant a little bit about what I think the Philadelphia 76ers should do to be true contenders at this point. I think, personally, Philadelphia has been phenomenal this year, obviously. Obviously, they've been awesome. Bleacher Report just came out with their power rankings, and they have the Sixers at number one, which is extremely impressive. Obviously, we have the MVP of the league right now. The shooting has been great. Defense has been awesome. When Embiid is in the lineup, we are borderline unstoppable. That is extremely important to know because uh, Philadelphia is a contender this year. They are a contender. This is the best year they've had in a really long time. And that being said, I think we cannot become complacent with how this team is. Don't get me wrong. I love the way this team is. We are awesome together as a team. It seems like we're really pushing out unit basketball. We're playing together as a team, and that's awesome. Um, but it's not time to become complacent. Other teams will be getting better. Other teams are getting better. I think Philadelphia needs to understand that we need to get better too. Um, that being said, I'm just going to talk about some little holes that we have and ways to fill the needs that we have. Um, first off, I think I would like to preface this by saying I love Shake Milton more than you do. I love Shake Milton way more than the next guy. I am borderline his biggest fan. I love Shake Milton. I love what he brings to the team. He's averaging around 14 a game off the bench. He is a phenomenal scorer. He is a great player. But my thing with Shake Milton is he's more of a two guard than a one guard. Uh, he isn't the team's initial playmaker when he's on the court. So what I'm thinking is off the bench, we're going to need a better playmaker. Uh, Tyrese Maxey, I love the kid. I think he's going to be really, really good. I think he is really good, but he's not a backup point guard on a championship winning team yet. We got to let him grow, okay? And I think there needs to be a move to be made uh, in order to win a championship because Tyrese Maxey is not the backup point guard to a championship winning team. So that being said, I have obviously, I think, an ex just a... This isn't me coming out and saying some crazy groundbreaking news, but Derrick Rose. Uh, I think the perfect time to trade for Derrick Rose is right now because the Pistons suck. I mean, like, really bad. Like, like they really, really suck. Like, they can't win games suck. Uh, and Derrick Rose is on the last year of his deal, so his trade value is probably lower now than it was last year, two years ago. He's making $7.5 million, which is kind of difficult for Philadelphia to match realistically. But I have a trade offer that Detroit can't refuse. It's going to be a little bit funny, but I'm going to have a couple. One, Mike Scott and Terrence Ferguson. That equals $8.9 million. Excuse me, I'm looking at it right now. That's not enough to get him. Uh, don't get me wrong, Terrence Ferguson could possibly be pretty good. He can be good. Uh, he wasn't terrible for Oklahoma City. He had a decent stretch of proving to be a 3 and D role player in the league. He's still young. He's crazy bouncy, crazy athletic. Maybe a team can, like the Pistons especially, would take a flyer on him because the Pistons have signed guys like Josh Jackson. 
So they're not in a rush to win. They want to evaluate talent, evaluate potential. Terrence Ferguson and Detroit is a perfect match. Mike Scott, whatever. That's more of a salary filler. He's making over $5 million a year. Um, he's more of a guy who just is going to make the uh, trade work financially. But that's not going to be enough. So to me, I think personally, I would prefer to send two second round picks unprotected. Obviously, I don't even think. Can you protect second round picks? Go in the comments. Let me know if you can protect the second round pick. Because I've never heard it been done. But like, I wouldn't be surprised, right? I just don't think teams care. Who knows? Um. Anyway. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would probably prefer to throw in two second round picks. Mike Scott and Terrence Ferguson for Derrick Rose. Now, I don't know if that's enough. If that's not enough, I'd like to probably send, you got to send a top 20 or a top 14 lottery protected first round pick because Philadelphia has all of their first rounders, unlike Brooklyn, because Brooklyn doesn't have a first round pick until like 3006. And um, we can trade a lottery protected first probably for next year or the year after's draft for Derrick Rose, along with Mike Scott and Terrence Ferguson. I would probably do that deal. I think we, I, as much as I love first round picks, you can't just hold on to them. You know what I mean? Get rid of it if you have an opportunity to contend right now. And Daryl Morey is a very, very aware general manager. He's aware of the fact that Philadelphia is seeming to push right now. They're seeming that they're making their push right now title contention right now um that's why i think a deal like this could be extremely beneficial for both teams it gives detroit another first round pick gives detroit a guy they possibly can run out there as a flyer and it could work out for him uh so why not second trade opportunity the, the thing with me is you can never have too much shooting i talked about jj reddick in my last video and how trading for him is a pretty solid idea um, wouldn't give up anything of value. The guy's 35 years old and he's white. So the game isn't really going to be there for much longer, but his game translates with age. So I like the idea of trading for JJ Redick. I like the idea of, um, trading a second round pick, two second round picks maybe for a guy like JJ Redick. Obviously you're gonna have to make the salary match. Uh, you can probably do that with Mike Scott again and, you know, find a filler. But that being said, uh, I love Wayne Ellington, who's on the Detroit Pistons. Wayne Ellington is another guy who is on a one-year deal. He's making $1.6 million. But the thing with Wayne Ellington is this man shoots threes like nobody else right now. He is hotter than anybody from the league in the league from three. So let's make a deal. I'd like to throw in a guy like Terrence Ferguson, since we don't really have much. I'd probably prefer to throw in Vincent Poirier and a second round pick instead for a guy like Wayne Ellington. Um, Wayne Ellington's older. I don't know how much trade value he has. I think he's probably going to have a little bit more than that because of how valuable shooting is to the league. So we will see. But I just am here more to talk about guys who I would like Philadelphia to look at. I think Wayne Ellington is a perfect three-point shooter for Philadelphia, for, for Ben Simmons, and he still has 3 and D potential. He's a little bit older, but he brings more on the defensive end than J.J. Redick, because I'd rather take Wayne Ellington than J.J. Redick. That's just my personal opinion. Um, also, let's see. I think I had another one. Oh, actually, I had Vincent Poirier and two second-round picks for... Wayne Ellington. And I like that. I, I think that's a solid deal for both teams. Um, but a thing with Philadelphia is we need a backup big man. Uh, Tony Bradley isn't going to get the job done. And MB doesn't play every day, as you know. So I think Philadelphia needs to go out and get another guy, another guy that can back up Dwight Howard or can start in the rotation to Dwight Howard because Dwight Howard fouls more than anyone I've ever seen play basketball in my entire life. Um, we need Probably a stretch four. It would be absolutely sweet if Philadelphia could somehow manage to get Nikolai Melly because his last name's Melly. And to see a guy on the Philadelphia 76ers with Melly as his last name, count me in. Hearing Mark Zumoff say my name, I mean, I'm buying that jersey 19 times in 19 different variations. All Nikolai Melly jerseys here. <coughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. But I think that'd be cool. Mel Melly stretches. The it's, it's funny saying his name. Uh, Melly shoots the three ball really well. He's a really good stretch for. I like Nemanja Bilicia. Bilicia. Nemanja Bilicia. I don't know. 
I like him too, but he's having a down year. He's not really shooting the ball very well from three. I'd rather take Nikolai Melli for the name reason alone. And I think Philadelphia needs to get another big man, like I said, to be the third string because Tony Bradley's not going to get the job done when Embiid's out. And Embiid's going to be out. Whether he's healthy all year or not, he's going to be taking games off because that's just the way the NBA is nowadays. Uh, that being said, let me know if in the comment section at all, if any uh, player interests you, if you guys think like we should go after somebody, let me know. I can even make a video on that if you want. Um, but let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Go Sixers.